good morning dear students in a previous lecture we have gone through a detailed discussion on the topic surface tension of a given liquid so in today's lecture we will continue with various applications or we can say examples of surface tension in our daily life how it is applicable to various phenomena that we observe in our daily life for example first one is the sticking of liquid drop to the glass roof as you are seeing in this picture whenever a glass roof is dipped in water and it is taken out you will see a drop of water sticks to the end of the road now how does this happens this is all due to the surface tension because of intermolecular forces of attraction among the molecules of the liquid due to which a film is formed here the free surface of liquid behaves like a film because of surface tension and this surface tension is acting against the weight of the drop and it is holding the film here that's why we will see a drop of water sticking to the end of the road and it will fall down when its weight exceeds the force of surface tension now the second example is flowing down of water from a tap when water flows slowly in drops from a tap the drops are formed gradually at the tip of the nozzle now as the drop size grows it is stretched until a point is reached when the surface tension can no longer balance its weights as the surface tension is acting along the surface of this liquid drop which is holding it up and weight of the drop is acting downward force of surface tension is acting along the surface of this drop this free surface of the drop along which the force of surface tension is acting tangentially that is holding this drop against the force of gravity so whenever the weight exceeds the force of surface tension the drop separates and it falls down in the form of a shape of sphere so this is all due to the force of surface tension among the molecules present in a liquid surface now next one is the walking on water by spiders very important example you very well know the water spiders are able to walk on the surface of water the reason being they are having long thin and hydrophobic legs as we are looking in this figure they are having long thin and hydrophobic legs due to which the weight of their body is distributed over a large surface area now as it walks on the water the feet of spider produces dimples on the surface film without rupturing the film as the weight is not too much so it is not rupturing the surface film which has been formed due to the force of surface tension so small dips or you can say dimples are produced on the surface film because of feet of spider now the force of surface tension is acting tangentially to this uh, surface of surface film uh, of the liquid tangentially and it is acting upward the vertical component of the surface film is acting upward and acting against the force of gravity so the vertical component of surface tension is working against the force of gravity due to which as the foot is lifted the film which is under tension against become flat because of force of attraction among the molecules that is due to the surface tension of the liquid 
so why they are being able to walk on the water the reason being they are having long thin hydrophobic legs due to which their weight is distributed over large surface area so the weight which is acting opposing to the surface tension that is not too much to sink them in the water the force of surface tension easily balance the weight of the insect as this is distributed over a large surface area so by this they are being able to walk on the water because of surface tension of the film produced on the surface of the liquid now next one is the plotting of various objects like razor blade paper clip and needle which are much heavier than water how they are being able to float on the surface of water we very well know these objects are all made up of steel and that is nearly 8 times denser than water so how they are being able to float on the water first of all to make them to float on the water we will have to place them gently with the flat surface on water so that the surface film is not disturbed now by keeping the flat surface the weight will be distributed over large surface area so that the vertical component of surface tension is balancing it easily moreover their thickness is not sufficient to break the surface film so the surface film forms due to surface tension will support the things and it will be able to float on the surface of water now you will have to note if small agitation is done on the surface what will happen it will break up the surface tension and the surface film formed on the surface of liquid and these things will quickly sink into the water so all of this is happening due to the surface film formed on the surface of water by the surface tension and the vertical component of the surface tension is acting against the force of gravity or you can say weight of these things which is acting downward now next one is taking out a brush immersed in a liquid you will see whenever you are immersing a brush in the liquid and then you are taking it out its bristles are drawn close together moreover you can see whenever you wash your hair you will see your uh, hair are sticking close to each other now this is all due to the contraction of the film formed between the adjacent hair due to the surface tension which is holding them together this force of the face tension is contracting the hair and it is drawing them to close together as a surface film is formed due to the surface tension between the adjacent hair the next one is the formation of droplets of a liquid you very well know the droplets of water or any other liquid they are nearly spherical in shape now why they are acquiring this spherical shape what's the reason behind that the reason being due to the force of surface tension the liquid surface will try to acquire a minimum surface area because of force of attraction among the molecule the liquid surface or you can say this drop surface will tend to acquire the minimum surface area and for the given volume the sphere is having the smallest surface area that's why rain water falling down acquires a spherical shape or spherical shape drops next one is the action of soaps and detergents how the soaps and detergents are helpful to clean the clothes now this is all 
due to the lowering of the surface tension of water so that it can more readily soak into the pores and soiled areas. Now how does this happen? The soap molecules are composed of, we can see in this figure, they are composed of long hydrocarbon chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms along with polar hydrophilic carboxylate ends. Now what happens during washing the hydrophobic or you can say grease loving end of the soap molecule that will attach itself to the fat present on the stain. Whereas water is flowing underneath. The other side of the soap molecule which is hydrophilic that is attached to the water so that will be directed towards the water. So what will happen? The soap molecule is making a link between the stain and water. As its hydrophobic part is attached to the stain and its hydrophilic part is attached towards the water. It is directed towards the water. So as the rubbing is taken, what will happen on, a, on rubbing the cloth and flowing a plenty of water, the soap molecules will make that stain particles loose and due to which that stain particles will be removed along with the flood of water. As we are thoroughly washing it with water, that stain particle which has become loose, which was uh, earlier firmly bound to the cloth molecules, that will be becoming loose because of action of the soap as it is binding towards the stain as well as towards the water. So it will be easily cleaned by using the soap and thoroughly washing with the water. Now next one is the washing with hot water. We very well know on washing with the hot water it is easier to clean the cloth as compared to the cold water. So what is happening on increasing the temperature of water? The molecules move past which will reduce the strength of intramolecular forces that keeps the molecules together when the water is cold. Due to this intermolecular forces of attraction among the water molecules is decreasing, so the surface tension of water is reduced. Now, when the surface tension of water is reduced, it will become a better wetting agent and hence will clean the cloth more effectively. Now, next one is use in umbrellas, tents, and green coat. We very well know. Umbrellas, tents, raincoat, these all are used so that the water is not passing through them during rainy season. So how does this is happening here? The rainwater doesn't pass through the tiny holes in the fabrics of these uh, objects. Why does this happen? This is all due to the surface tension. Because of surface tension, surface films are formed in the tiny holes present in the fabrics of these objects. So these holes are blocked by the fine films of water which doesn't let allow the water to flow down through these holes. So this is all due to the surface film formed by, uh, formed in the holes due to the surface tension. Now next one is the capillary action. We are very much familiar with this property, capillary action. It is when a liquid moves up, defying gravity or you can say acting against gravity through very thin pass passageways. As we can see here, the liquid is moving up in this fine capillaries. Now how does this happen? This is all due to the vertical component of the surface tension acting which will be explained later. 
in the section of capillary action where we will discuss it in detail with the diagram. Now, what are the various examples of the capillary action are as a how the underground water is moving up through the ground and reaching the plants from the roots and then this water is transported to all the leaves and branches. This all is happening due to the capillary action. Similarly, uh, we can see in paper chromatography also, the liquid is moving up due to the fine capillaries present in the paper. Similarly, absorption of the ink on the blotting paper, this is all due to the capillary action. The next one is the formation of meniscus. Now, what is the meniscus? The meniscus, which in Greek means a small moon, it is the curve caused by a surface tension in the upper surface of a liquid. And it can have two types of shapes. Uh, convex or concave. This is the convex meniscus and this is the concave meniscus. So why they are having two different type of meniscus here? Convex meniscus is obtained when the molecules are having stronger attraction to the each other than to the material of the container. Means when the cohesive forces are stronger as compared to the adhesive forces. In that case, we will get a convex meniscus. For example, mercury in barometer, thermometers, that is all having a convex meniscus. Now, concave meniscus, it occurs when the molecules of liquid are attracted more to those of the container, causing the surface of the liquid to cave upwards. Means, when the adhesive forces are stronger as compared to the cohesive forces, in that case, we will get concave meniscus. Next one is the soap bubble. If we will compare the soap bubble with the normal water bubble, you will see the normal water bubble burst very soon, whereas soap bubble can last for a longer time. Now, why does this happen? This is due to the fact that the surface tension of normal water is very high and it tends to draw the water molecules which are present at the surface into the main body of the water. So if you are having a drop of water, the surface tension, a bubble formed of normal water, the surface tension will try to contract the surface into the main body of the water, it will try to contract the surface and it will draw the water molecules at the surface into the main body. Now, as the surface tension in normal water is high and thickness of the bubble wall is too thin, so it will not stand by this uh, force of attraction by the inner molecules and it will quickly burst. Whereas in case of soapy water, you will see the surface tension is much lower. So, force of attraction among the molecule is less. So, the inner force which is acting on the bubble wall that will be lower in case of soft bubble as compared to normal water bubble. That's why the soap bubble will last for a longer time as compared to the normal water bubble. Now, next one are the antiseptics like Detol we use. Whenever uh, we are getting wounds on our skin, now how uh, these are effectively uh, used? The reason be because of their low surface tension, they can be easily spread faster on the skin and can heal better. So the role of surface tension is there so that to improve the spreading of the detol. Similarly, in case of toothpaste, we require more spreading for the cleaning of the teeth. And that more spreading is achieved by because of surface tension. Of, uh, because of surface tension a reduction by the soap present in the toothpaste. As in toothpaste, they are soap that reduces the surface tension and it spreads freely in the mouth and easily clean the teeth. 
Now next concept will be the surface energy we will do in the next lecture.